Only bust down. Uh, I just touch down. Uh, uh, do no lean. Yeah. Put your crush down. Yeah. Uh, come going crazy and shit. Yeah. Feel like I'm made in shit. Uh, some of you niggas look dusty. Uh, they need a maintenance bitch. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the body. Oh my god, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be I guess giving you guys an update on um, my tattoos so this is as you can read by the title all about my tattoos video I've done one of these like literally like maybe three years ago so yeah I think as of right now I have like nine tattoos something something of that nature um, if you don't like tattoos or you have an opinion about tattoos or tattoos are not really your thing you know I completely understand everybody has their own opinions has their own opinions and you know rights to believe whatever they want to believe so if you're not interested in you know seeing my tattoos or anything tattoo related then you know you can just exit out this video um, so yeah but if you enjoy watching tattoo videos or want to get inspired or whatever or just curious and nosy um keep on watching and i'm gonna like rate them from one to ten so, yeah so my first tattoo is actually on this wrist right here so um this tattoo is a native american symbol and it means peace and it was my very first tattoo i got it when i was 18 years old and y'all was i nervous or was i nervous i was super nervous to get it um my i think my mom went with me went, went with me to get it um and i think it was like $50 and it literally took like 10 minutes and it was super like it didn't hurt at all really it was like on a scale of 1 to 10 it was probably maybe a 3 if that it took like 10 minutes so I didn't really feel it um so that was my first tattoo my next tattoo was this one right here um that's on my inner arm and it says dream big sky's the limit in Arabic so yes um that was my second one that one on a scale of one to ten was probably maybe a five certain areas like in the inner of my arm kind of hurt but it wasn't like oh my god unbearable i think that tattoo was i want to say 70 to 80 i think it was 70 dollars and all of my tattoos um i've got in five out of nine of them is by the same tattoo artist so i literally go to basically the same person for all of my tattoos minus two of them that i've gotten yes yes two of them that i have gotten um so all the rest of my tattoos are by one art there will be somewhat of a theme to my tattoos so, sort of kind of um i'm a very um quote driven um like motivational type of person i have like a lot of quotes written on me or like words or things of that nature not all of my tattoos have a specific meaning meaning but most of them do um just because i feel like you know if i do get a tattoo and it's on my body for ever i want it to have somewhat somewhat of a meaning to me um, so now we're on to my third one which i think is on this one so i'm gonna turn around so you guys can see and of course i'll give you an up close but this one right here oh, look at this highlight baby um this one right here is um uh, roman numerals and then it has three birds on it so this one really has a super special meaning to me so i want to say 2017 um i had three like major big deaths in my family back to back to back like each month it was a death that happened um my grandma had passed away and i think 2014 2013 14 some, somewhere like that i already knew automatically i wanted to get something dedicated towards her i just didn't know what exactly i wanted to get so in 2017 when those three big deaths happened in my family i knew i wanted to get something for them and i was like hey what if i do a roman numerals for my grandma and then the three other people that passed that was really significant in my life um i do three like dove birds so that's exactly what what i did um, that one i can't remember how much that one was but it didn't really hurt that much um the doves like the little birds kind of hurt because of the shading but it wasn't super bad either with pain i would say six maybe a six five six that was my first tattoo on my back um well it's not really my back it's like my shoulder so i was like eh, i don't really know how this feels but so yes. i think the next one is actually this top one 
so not this bottom half but the sun and the moon this one was actually done by a different tattoo artist than the previous ones um, my very first tattoo was done by a different artist so this one was done by a different artist and this one was done by a different artist um, but this one actually uh, my tattoo artist that I work with now it is his partner so same shop just a different artist type of thing but yes i knew i wanted a sun and a moon um i literally i'm very into like as you can see like boho stuff as you can see this dream catcher right here so i knew i wanted a sun and a moon and i was like well i don't know how i want it i seen different pictures on google on like one on this arm one on this arm i seen some on the feet and i was like that's not happening so i got it on my arm and like he came up with the concept to combine them to, to combine them together I cannot talk I'm so sorry to combine them together so that's what we did um, this one was um, the first most expensive one I think this one was a hundred I think it was a hundred I think it was a hundred um, this one on a scale of one to ten was probably a seven because the shading this one kind of hurt just a little bit more um so on a scale of one to ten i think it was like seven seven and a half ish um so yeah it kind of it definitely kind of hurt just a little bit so the next one i would say is i think the one on this back of my shoulder so i have one on this side and then the other one that i already showed y'all so this one you won't be able to see it but i'll give y'all like a close-up view of it this one um is a matching tattoo with my mom actually um we've been talking about getting matching tattoos for years so i finally convinced her to get a matching tattoo with me um so yeah this one um, um is actually a quote so she has half of the quote and then i have the other half of the quote so the quote says for her i risk it all because of her i will not fall um so she has the for her i will risk it all and then i have um because of her i will not fall um so yeah i thought that was like a pretty quote that kind of matched with both of us because obviously she's my mother um you know she does a lot for me and you know i'm very appreciative so yeah that was my next one that one didn't really hurt either just like the other one on this side was about the same pain um it was super quick it was like maybe 15 minutes 20 um at the most me and my mom both got it done the same day the next one is this one right here so i'll give you up close but it's a hanger and it says 106 this actually um this actually i didn't get done by my my personal tattoo artist i actually got this done with some guy um um, my co-workers recommended so this actually is a work tattoo so me um, our management team um, we all got like somewhat kind of matching tattoos um, with our store number on it um, so yeah that's pretty much what that is I get a lot of questions about this all the time but so yeah that's that that one actually kind of hurt and backstory on this one since this wasn't my tattoo artist um, and it was somebody I did not know I just like went based off of um co-workers recommendations and like looked at his work his work seemed pretty decent which it it really was decent he was just definitely heavy-handed for sure this one healed unlike the rest of my tattoos so i was kind of scared because i thought this one was going to get a keloid because it is kind of puffy and kind of raised like once you see it up close it's definitely kind of raised some because he was kind of very heavy-handed when it comes to like certain artists being more heavy-handed than others you can kind of tell when it comes to the healing process because this one kind of bled it took so long to heal it was raised up it kind of hurt while it was healing this one definitely gave me a little bit of trouble with healing why like, me getting it done on a scale of one to ten it was like maybe a six and a half seven it kind of hurt in certain areas but he definitely was heavy-handed so it took a lot longer to actually heal so yeah that's my next one i'm trying to think then the biggest one on my arm we're gonna do a half sleeve but the way this tattoo is set up i might as well just go full out right so the bottom half of where the sun and the moon is is the second portion of my piece um so i was just gonna do half sleeves is from up here to where your elbow is so like this area down here but honestly this piece <laughs> It's a little past my elbow, so at this point, I might as well just do a sleeve. 
Um, so yeah, the next two tattoos I will get would be to fill in these two holes right here and then I will work my way down. Um, but yes, I wanted my half sleeve to have somewhat of a, of a theme. So my theme is kind of like the circle of life. So you have the sun and the moon and then you have the roses and then you have the Mandela symbols. So if you don't what, know what a Mandela um, symbol means, you can Google it. I on a scale of 1 to 10, this tattoo very much so kind of hurted um, in certain areas for sure. It was probably a 7.5, 8. It wasn't a 10, but it definitely hurt. I'm not going to lie. Um, my tattoo artist was super bomb, so um, he kind of like um, worked with me and we kind of like um, collaborated with, you know, the placement of it. So especially down here, like towards the elbow-ish area, like the crease of your arm baby that definitely kind of hurt the shading of the roses and when you get the up close view of it the work is amazing he did an amazing job on the lines like it is so crisp and so clean and i i'm obsessed with it and i'm glad it's starting to get warm again because i can you know show it off or whatever like i'm obsessed i get so many questions about who does my tattoos and yes i will put my tattoo artist name in the bottom if you are in the north carolina area to go check him out oh, the next one the next two actually i got at the same time and these are these are my last two actually these are my last two these are my most recent ones i got these last month was it last month i think yes it was last month so they are like still fresh they're completely healed but yes oh back to this one this one was um 180 this one was 180 and the hanger one was i believe i can't remember how much he charged i want to say his was 80 um because his cover charge fee was kind of more pricier i think his the minimum was like 60 dollars. so i think this was like i want to say this one was actually this one was 70 this one was 70 and um my medalla and roses piece was 180 so tattoos are super expensive if you, if you do not know. That's why it's taking me so long to get the more bigger ones because obviously you have to have money and they are a little bit more pricier. So my last two, um, I actually got at the same time. They were, I think the total, how much did I pay? My tattoo artist had a special. What did I pay for these? I think I paid 80 in total for both of them. Um, so it's on my wrist. So now I have one on this wrist and one on this wrist. I wanted to make it equal and even um so you won't be able to see but you'll see it up close it's in red and i'm obsessed with the red ink i'm gonna have to get more tattoos in red ink because i literally look at this all the time i'm so obsessed it says mindfulness so i'm big into like um manifesting your life meditation um just your mind body and soul um i'm really big into like crystals and all things of that nature so i feel like um, mindfulness is a very good quote for me because you know your mind is a powerful thing um so yeah um that's pretty much what that is um this one took like three seconds it was super quick it kind of stung a little bit but it didn't really hurt so on a scale of one to ten it was like a four it is a palm tree um i'm super obsessed with palm trees if you know me you know i love florida um so yeah i love palm trees um this one low-key y'all this one hurt so bad leg tattoos baby i did not know they were like low-key painful this one was like a different type of pain the rest of them on my arms and stuff was like you know stinging felt like you got your foot was like a sleeve type of pain the one on my foot that one was like low-key hurt pain um so on the scale of one to ten that was probably i want to say a seven and a half eight and a half because y'all that pain was like low-key and it was not even that big either um the shading is amazing tattoo looks great um so yeah those are my last tattoos so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that this was not <laughs> too much and like me being all over the place and like rambling too much but i haven't filmed a video in so long so i'm sorry um i hope you guys love this video please do not forget to comment rate and subscribe turn on your post notifications please turn your post notifications um the people that are still subscribed to me turn them on so you can watch my videos and support your girl um i hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day stay safe um be positive and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye.